wow, apparently Wednesday the 16th of October is just trailer day, I guess. I was right in the middle of making a video about the final trailer for Moana 2, only to be interrupted by a full trailer from Wallace and Gromit Vengeance Most Foul. I then heard about another movie that I completely missed called Night of the Zoopocalypse. Okay, sure. And then I'm being interrupted again by Illumination of all people. Today, let's talk about Sing 2.5, shall we? As this is a whole new set of territory for the Illumination Studio to a certain extent. Announced just 17 minutes ago, I was literally mid-recording on the last video to then see this pop up. This is not exactly Sing 3, and the hints you can pick up from that is the fact that this wasn't even posted initially on the Illumination YouTube channel. This is coming from Netflix. That being said, on looking at just the visuals already so far on this little 48 second teaser, and aesthetically, it is on par with the movie. This is not a full on theatrical release, this is a short. It's the classic mainline animated IP does a Halloween short for the Halloween season. We've seen it with Shrek, we've seen it with the bad guys, and though DreamWorks likes to knock down their budget a few zeros, apparently Illumination isn't doing that. And since it is just a short, it's not coming to theatres, it's going straight to Netflix. And this wouldn't be the first time that Illumination have done shorts and that they've ended up on Netflix. In the past, we've covered all sorts of Minion shorts that got compilated into three volumes and was plugged onto Netflix later on as well. This is just going with the motions. As for the actual plot synopsis we have for Illumination's Sing 2.3, what we have is the following. After staging a spectacular version of Thriller at the New Moon Theatre, Buster Moon and the cast of Sing leave to celebrate at Clay Calloway's Halloween party. But when our heroes arrive at the party, they discover a mysterious, multicoloured ooze has transformed Clay and his guests into dancing freaks. I mean... You know, it's, it's somewhat of content you can try to make out of the Sing IP. This is not the first short, by the way. We've actually covered some Illumination shorts in the past, with past examples being the likes of Eddie's Life Coach, which I particularly remember, focusing around one of the characters, Eddie Noodleman, partaking in a digital life training seminar. There's actually been all sorts. Three in 2017, two in 2022, and now this first one in 2024. And the shorts... They weren't that bad, you know, it was just filler content to consume on the in-betweens. And this one very much is now taking on the new territory of what this series has come up to so far. In the second movie, we got introduced to the character of Clay Calloway, so now we can just go back to his mansion all the time. Although technically that's based in the main, main super city. And you know, the new moon theatre is just in their normal little town, but uh, don't worry about it. Actually, you really should, uh, you know, separate from reality a little bit, as it looks like from some of the teaser scenes we've seen in this little clip, there's actually going to be some proper good adaptations of the classic Halloween-y tales. Clearly, you've got the likes of Johnny playing the role of the evil scientist on stage for the big Frankenstein-esque homage, but then there's also this giant tentacle monster that seems to whack the actual stage manager. I doubt that's such a simple thing as just a dream sequence. You've then also got the glowy, ghosty zombies, leaning way back to the real theme of the short that it's all just Michael Jackson's thriller. I mean, it's even named just Sing Thriller. And I mean, to be honest, from a marketing perspective, of course, it's just the most basic, easy way you could get popular attention. Attach yourself to the big pop culture song. One of the biggest Halloween themed songs of all time. Yeah, I guess you, if you've got the money, you could just pay the rights for it. Sure. Honestly, I just expect it to be that all the people that have turned into zombies here are just guests at a costume party. Is, is that a crazy theory, really? And then they reveal that, whoa, that one spooky thing wasn't related to the planned out methodical party. But yes, in general, the Illumination shorts, surprisingly, aren't actually that terrible, judging by the examples we've had in the past. When it comes to the Minion shorts, you know, sometimes they're pretty hit or miss, they can be pretty annoying, but sometimes they actually go into highlighting the core essence of what their movies are about. Cheers for making it halfway through this video. If you haven't already, come subscribe. If you want to keep up with any other animated movie trailers, there's like several today, so I'll get to work on all those. But for now, let's get to the second half of this video. With the Minions, for example, they're very good at just showcasing what you want, which is good slapstick creative humour, you know? With Sing, what, what is the core there? Uh, enjoy music that you've already heard? Like, it, it, you know, it's a bit of an interesting franchise to really try to make any content out of. Goodly? Goodly. But for what few seconds we've seen so far, you know, oh, I'm optimistic. I haven't got crazy expectations. Still kind of think Sing 1 and Sing 2 are... Yeah, kind of simple. However, the visuals are nice. You know it's going to have a great musical soundtrack. 
And wow, would you look at that? It's got five crazy celebrity inclusions because they're part of the main core cast. Wow, Taron Egerton's in this movie? Crazy. Still, actually, I guess <laughs> maybe that is a genuine point. The fact that they've genuinely got the core cast involved means you would hope that makes it a seal of approval in regards to quality. So often do you have these spin-offs, rip-offs, shorts, and side content that is completely recasted. <coughs> Bad guys. <coughs> Mega Mind rules. So to actually see a studio like Illumination taking the short form content seriously compared to DreamWorks outsourcing and just minimizing as well, perhaps this could lead to more successful side content being created by other franchises. Illumination have made all sorts of millions of shorts in the past, and to be honest, I don't think they're really well known. I mean, I certainly didn't hear about them until I specifically looked out for it for this job. But with this coming straight to Netflix, being posted directly on Netflix in the year 2024, maybe people will start to notice these things more. And if it becomes a super success, which it very well could do, it's playing the easy route, as we said, Michael Jackson, maybe it would lead into this department being expanded further. And seeing it done with the same-ish quality as the actual movie's animations, and like, man, I, Illumination really are just sort of passing way past DreamWorks at this point. This is clearly still all done in-house or mimicked to be as in-house looking as possible. There's no real quality job, it's just, hopefully, good content next. Visually it looks grand, it's written to clearly be fairly original, as much as it's probably a little bit cliche, but you know, fun. And there's nothing heinously criminal to see yet. I will of course be watching this when it comes out, they didn't actually reveal a date or much of anything to be honest. It's the earliest, easiest teaser, I guess. Two weeks and a day before the actual event. It's probably on the day, right? So I'll be sure to dissect it when the full thing comes out, scene by scene, or however we feel like doing it. And as I said at the very start, this is just the very first of like, four trailers there are to talk about today. My phone notifications are popping off even as I record this video here. Who'd have thought? Wednesday, 16th of October. I don't, I don't know how this damn marketing thing works, but I'll keep on top of it as best I can. Come along and join me if you're interested in keeping up with all the rest of it. I hope your October's going well so far. But on that note, I guess we'll just have to see how it all turns out. I've got mid to high hopes this time. For now, my name's been Daz. Thank you very much for reaching the end of this video, and I shall see you in a little bit.